Hi everyone, it's Evan Brown, your favorite technology and intellectual property attorney. So let's say that your company is going to enter into an arrangement whereby it's going to manufacture and sell another company's products or your company is going to integrate another company's services into its own offering. Well, a critical piece of that arrangement is a trademark license. And here are three key things to keep in mind when entering into a trademark license. The first thing to keep in mind is that you'll need to actually specify what the mark is that's being licensed. Is it a word mark? Is it a logo? Is it a domain name? Well, you want to be precise about that and the agreement should specify clearly which marks are the subject of the agreement. The second thing to keep in mind when entering a trademark license is to determine how the marks are actually going to be used. Are they going to be affixed to the products? Are they going to be in product literature and marketing collateral? It's really important to define the scope of the permitted use so that the parties have an understanding of what the arrangement actually is. A third thing to keep in mind when negotiating a trademark license is the quality assurance provisions. A party who's granting rights in the trademark can lose those rights if they don't have a meaningful remedy to stop any use of the trademark under the agreement, if the marks don't appear as they should, or if the quality of the goods and services being provided don't meet certain standards. I hope you have found this information about trademark licenses to be useful and helpful. If there's anything in particular I can help you out with, just drop a line or give me a call. Go over and read my blog at internetcases.com. If you're watching this video on YouTube, be sure to like it and subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment. Let me know that you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you again next time with more information about law and technology. Thank you.